Interestingly enough, now it's hard to know where to start that story, but in terms of my involvement with it, uh, Francois Schladiuk, um, he in 2004 is contacted by an antiques dealer in Brussels. The antiques dealer says, I have some Indian stuff that you might be interested in. And by that time, he's running his Western shop. He probably then, as well as now, is selling more cowboy boots in Europe than anybody else. And so he's also collecting, and, and this antique dealer is aware of it. He opens up the trunks, and he can see there's some beaded items. That's about all he sees. He doesn't have to go too deep. He's, he makes the, the antique dealer an offer, and he buys the whole kit and caboodle. Then he starts digging through it, and he's not sure where these came from. But he digs through it, and he finds the name of, of, of a fellow who was a friend of the original owner of these materials. And it turns out that guy's still alive, so he contacts him. And the guy says, well, yeah, you know, August Herman's my friend. Bought those. I think he bought them all at the World's Fair in 1935. So Francois starts digging deeper and finds more evidence of that in the, in the trunks and then continues to research, starts checking uh, you know, with people around the area, looking for photos, looking for anything. And he starts this basic research in 2004. And then he, in the midst of looking for this, comes to the Buffalo Bill Museum. And we have a wonderful conversation, and this is the first of many conversations. But on that trip to visit me, he was on his way to Pine Ridge to visit with Walter Little Moon and his brother, who has since died. Walter's still alive. And he meets with them, and they are the sons of some people who performed in Brussels in 1935. And uh, he makes a friendship with them. And this just starts snowballing. Finally, about 2011, I am visiting with Francois on a, a, a trip to Brussels to see the collection and to see his shop. The artifacts from 1935 to 2004, they were in the possession initially of August Hermans, who became friends with these performing Lakota at the 1935 uh, uh, World's Fair. And he, uh, when it's time for them to leave, they gift him some of them, and he buys some as well. So he has this collection of about 147 artifacts. He has some that his father before him had collected in 1910, like a breastplate plate that belonged to Red Shirt, things like that. So this is kind of a time capsule from 1935, and some of those artifacts from even earlier that were brought by the Lakota here. 1935 to 2004, nobody knows about them. Hermans dies in 1980. They become part of his estate. Nothing happens with them. Again, from 1980 to 2004, again, nobody sees them at all. So you have this time capsule. Many of these artifacts are in pristine condition. And it gets discovered, if you will. The more I'm reading, the more I'm digging into this. And when I discover, well, Sam Lobert starts with Buffalo Bill in 1894, I start looking. There's a much bigger story here.